Hello? Is anyone there? Can, can anyone tell me where- Oh, never mind. Oh, excuse me, hi, uh, can, can you- Can you tell me where- Oh. Everyone seems in such a rush. Oh, hi, C can you tell me how to get to- Okay, don't need to be so rude about it. Oh, hello. <laughs> excuse me, would, would you mind- Perhaps telling me where I am? It seems I've traveled a long way from home, and I'm very lost, and nothing looks the same as it did where I live. And there are all these strange machines and signs, and everyone is wearing funny clothes and walking around with this odd little box in their hands. A cell phone? That's what it's called. I shall make a mental note of this. I don't understand its purpose, but it seems as though everyone has one. Including you. See? Those two girls with pink and purple hair? They have one? Such an odd thing to do. Make your hair different colors. I should like to see what I look like with dark hair. Though, maybe another time. I'm where? Oh, well, it looks a lot different than it did when I lived there. I hope you don't mind me asking you another question, but I'm wondering, is there some place where we can get something to eat? I seem to be quite hungry after my journey, and maybe you can tell me more about this world and the... What's it called again? Cell phone, right. Such a strange contraption. An odd little box. What can you do with it? You can ask it questions. May I try? Excuse me, uh, Mr. M Mrs. Uh, uh, Mix uh, Cell Phone, uh, where am I? What year is this? Oh, <laughs> it, it can't actually hear. Oh, you press this button here? Okay. What year is this? Two thousand twenty three. Do you mean to tell me that I have just traveled three hundred years into the future? That's that's impossible. Time travel only exists in books, and stories, and, and in plays, and... Oh, this... this is surprising. But, it turns out my theory on time travel is correct, and our, our experiment worked. I've been trying to prove the theory of time travel for so long. Eventually I just gave up and said, you know, you gotta stop reading those books and filling your head with thoughts, but it worked. <laughs> it worked. I can't wait to tell my friends as soon as I get back. They're probably worried sick waiting for me. But Perhaps it'll take some time before I'm able to return to my world. The thing is, I don't know how I got here. I wasn't even trying. Hmm. Anyway, uh, food. Right, uh, yeah, lead the way. <laughs> Sorry, I just get so excited when I think about time travel. I mean, I know I should be scared. This is a brand new world, and who knows what dangers lie around the corner, but... I'm also really excited.
Oh, this this is an interesting looking place. And can you can you smell the food in there, or is it just me? And look, there's an empty table right here. We have places like this back home, but the food is much less weird looking. <laughs> I mean, it's strange to me. They have pieces of meat with lettuce between two pieces of bread. And it looks like there's this weird sauce, too. Is that what they serve here at McDonald's? Really? Oh, well, what else do they have? Chicky Nuggies. Can't say I've heard of Chicky Nuggies before. I've heard of chicken, but not Chicky Nuggies. Oh, it's just bread and chicken. <laughs> Right, well, when you put it that way, it sounds a lot simpler. And I suppose these are sliced potato things? Or do they call them potato... mini potatoes? Potato babies? Crisps? Oh. Or fries? Well, I guess it makes sense. Potatoes can be crispy when fried, and... What do they call them? French? They're not French. At least I don't think so. Hmm. Maybe I'll try one of the strange... Cheeseburgers, or... Big Macs, as you call them. You know, just to see what all the fuss is about. Yeah, I'll go find us a table, and you can surprise me. Will that be alright? Alright, good. <laughs> wow, that does look good. Alright, should I, should I take a bite? Okay. Wow, it's, it's like an explosion in my mouth. It's like a volcano, or, um, what's the word? Uh, it's like a bomb exploded in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, one sec. My father always told me not to talk with my mouth full. So, <laughs> I apologize for being rude just then. Do I have anywhere to stay? Well, <laughs> I kind of just got here, so I haven't been able to make any arrangements, but I'm sure there's an inn or a tavern or maybe even a nice hotel that I can stay in. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I wouldn't want to impose on you, especially because you hardly know me and I hardly know you, and it would just be strange, wouldn't it? Well, I... I don't know what to say, or how I'm ever going to repay you for your kindness. This place is so strange and new to me, but... At least I've made one friend here. <laughs> yes, as odd as it may seem, I already consider you a good friend. And... I'm looking forward to more adventures and learning with you. And eating more food. 